Metal detectorists have unearthed a cache of gold and silver coins hidden in a mountain range in Poland that once belonged to a legendary con artist. Today we will explore the exciting story of 17th and 18th century con artist Antony Czechowski. Hi, and welcome to Minuteman Precious Metals, where it's my goal to enhance your financial preparation and prosperity and motivate you by tracking my personal stacking adventure. Thank you for all my new and returning viewers. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell icon if you'd like to be alerted when new videos are available. I appreciate your views, but I really need your likes and subscriptions to grow this channel. Thank you for your support. A group of archeologists have uncovered a large trove of coins in the mountains of South Central Poland. The gold and silver relics date back to the 17th and 18th century and more significantly are believed to be associated with the legendary hermit and con artist, Antony Czechowski. Antony Czechowski, who fashioned himself as a prophet with mystical powers, was active and lived during the Great Northern War and bubonic plague outbreaks between 1708 and 1712. He claimed to possess healing abilities granted to him by the Virgin Mary, who he professed lived with him at his mountain hermitage. Donations poured in from pilgrims, and his fortune grew to the point where he reportedly required armed sentries to safeguard his treasures. He was arrested and put on trial for running his scam. He escaped from prison during legal proceedings, only to return to the mountains to resume his con. After he was recaptured in 1712, he was sentenced by the court of the Bishop of Krakow to life imprisonment. The Hoare's location has long held religious meaning. The English translation of its name, the Holy Cross Mountains, refers to a relic housed in the nearby Benedictine monastery, believed to have been cut from the cross on which Jesus was crucified. In June 2022, lured by the legend of the grifter and armed with metal detectors, archaeologists set out to uncover traces of his hoard. According to the group Sebastian Grebwak, they turned up an impressive deposit, followed by smaller caches of dozen or several coins each. The largest trove represents currency from across Europe. The cherry on top, said Grebwak, was the final discovery, a gold Hamburg ducat from 1648, depicting the Madonna and Child, with a pierced edge that suggests it could have been used as a medallion. It seems that the coins may be part of the fees collected by the self-proclaimed hermit, donations or votive offerings, or perhaps also goods stolen from the local nobility, said a historian at the Provincial Hermitage Monuments Protection Office in Kielesi. The trove has been transferred to the Historical and Archaeologist Museum in Osterwick, where it will be further studied. Its conservation and detailed numismatic histor historical analysis are planned this year, which we hope will provide more answers about the past of this deposit. I hope you enjoyed the coverage of the discovery of this treasure. Let's call it there. Thank you for watching. And remember, time is your most valuable asset, and I appreciate you sharing yours with me. Minuteman 6, signing off.